Hey, so in this video, we're going to look at circle arcs and sectors. It's going to be just a quick revision uh, of some of the formulas. And then in the next few videos, we're going to start the problem. So if you think you know the formulas already, you can skip to the next video. Uh, if not, just watch this one quickly, and then you'll have no problem uh, answering the problems in the next video. So first, we're going to look at the circle. So again, circle is just a point, and then you have the radius, or that's the most important thing. So the perimeter of the circle, the outside of it, uh, is equal to 2 pi or. And again, pi is just a number. Pi is equal to about... 3.1415 and then it just keeps going on and on and on forever okay uh, so pi is a special number 2 pi or is the perimeter the area of a circle is when you multiply pi by or squared so the radius squared again there are 360 degrees in a circle or 2 pi radians and then the other uh, thing we need to know about a circle is that if you have a line going through the center point of a circle like this here and you draw any triangle on that line so you use that as a base it's always going to have a right angle okay so no matter where you draw you draw it from here like that it's still going to have a right angle as well and that's just one of the rules you need to accept no matter where you draw this triangle so that's most things we need to know about a circle and uh, next we're going to look at arcs so let's scroll down so here quickly we're looking at arc uh, so arcs are things like that there it's kind of just the arc of the circle or the bit of the circle so generally we're talking about the arc length is the important thing so we're going to say l is the arc length or is still the radius, and then theta is the angle there between the two uh, bits of the radius, all right? So the angle kind of determines how big the arc length is. So uh, if we're measuring theta in degrees, which we mostly will be, then the formula for arc length, again, this is all in the formula book, as well as those two up there, then L is equal to 2 pi or multiplied by theta over 360, and that's where theta is in degrees. And if we have it in radians, the formula is a little bit easier. But again, radians are a little bit more confusing for some people. Uh, L is just equal to or theta. Okay, so that's the arc length, the, uh, the length of that little bit there from there to there. All right, does that make sense? The last thing we're going to look at is sectors and the area of sectors. So here is what we need to know about sectors. So again, sectors are kind of the area. So our arc is the kind of the line from here to here. So I'm tracing here with the white. The sector is the entire, or pizza slice if you want to call it, so the, the entire thing here, everything that's shaded in, that's what we call the sector, all right? So again, I'll just get rid of that. So we have theta and we have or, so they're the important things, so theta is the angle and or is the radius. And um, if we want to find the area of a sector, and we have theta in degrees, we're going to use this formula here, which is again in the book. It's going to be a is equal to pi r squared multiplied by theta over 360, all right? So that's again theta in degrees. And then if theta is in radians, then a is equal to half or squared theta. All right. So that's all we need to know really about circles, arcs, and sectors. We do know how to use these formulas, but they're all the formulas we're going to need to know. All right. So hopefully that made sense. In the next video, we're going to look at some problems dealing with these formulas. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends if you find them if you find them helpful.